Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ariel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys uh, some things inside of my pencil case. Initially I had planned to film a what's in my pencil case um, video a lot earlier and then I realized that I have three pencil cases that I really really enjoy using. All of these pencil cases are from Kiki K and I love them so much. I don't have a designated purpose for each pencil case, they kind of just blend into each other um, a little bit but I thought this would be a fun video to show you guys. Um, some of my favorite writing utensils that I use in my planners, in uh, my journals, and all that stuff. Uh, so these are the three pencil cases that I currently have from Kiki K. Um, they are all um, different sizes and that's how I like them. This is the first pencil case that I got from them. It was from a previous suite collection. It's one of their canvas pouches. This is my favorite pencil case. I think it's so cute. This next pencil case that I have is the uh, matching one to my A5 notebook cover and it is one of these round guys. I really like it. You can fit a lot of things in here. And then the next one I have is this curve pouch which is um, I think their biggest pouch that they have here. I really like this as well because you can store taller things in here. So why don't I get started opening these guys up and showing you guys some of my favorite pens. So why don't we start over here on this side with this canvas pouch. Um, it's probably my favorite pouch <laughs> out of all of these and I do have it stuffed. You can definitely fit a lot of stuff in here uh, and that is how I like it. So I generally like putting um, a few journaling things in here uh, just because I think this pencil case is like quite flat and easy to carry around uh, like with my planner. So let's quickly go through what I have in here. Um, so the first couple things that I have in here are just some journaling basics. I have like a doily, I have a notepad in here um, as well that I can use to write notes, reminders, or even stick them into my journaling pages. Um, I also have, oh wow there's so many things in here, okay, let's organize. Um, I do have a few washi samplers that I put on some plastic that I cut up, um, again to put into all of my journals and stuff like that. I like decorating a little bit. Um, I have some other washi over here as well. These ones are just little um, solid strips, skinny strips. And then I do also have um, a few of these sticker sheets from my shop Airy Bam. I've been carrying this pouch a lot with my Hobonichi Weeks so I have a few Hobonichi Weeks size stickers here that I like using um, and that is also just tucked into here. Um, I think the height fits really well in here so I can put a lot more um, stuff in there if I want to. And these are all of the pens that I enjoy using. Of course um, I do have my Hobonichi pen in here. This is generally the pen that I like using. If I'm not using one of these, I am probably using one of these other Kiki K pens. These are some of my favorite pens actually because the barrels are so cute. Um, so these are two um, ink gel pens from Kiki K. This one I think is from the Woodland collection and I think it's really pretty with all of the uh, foiling on it. And then this one is from their Valentine's Day collection. I hauled these recently um, and I still really like them. So I chuck them right in here so I can use them when I need to. Um, Oh, I do have this pen as well. This is, I think, going to be one of my new favorite pens. It is also from Kiki K. I got it with a, um, as a set with my notebook cover and this pencil case. And this is just a metal um, roller ball pen. It's just a regular ballpoint, but I really like the weight and the feel of this pen. Uh, for my small hands, I think it is perfect for me and it gives a very, very satisfying click. I seriously love this pen and I think it looks really nice in the black metal. I already made a purchase for a few more of these pens because um, I love them so much apparently. Um, but I'm also trying to look for refills that will fit inside of these pens. If you guys know any refills that will fit inside of um, any of the Kiki K pens aside from the ones that are sold on the Kiki K website, please do let me know because I want to continue using these pens for as long as possible. But apparently I write a lot so I go through my um, pens really really quickly. So coming back uh, to the what's in my pencil case uh, video here, um, I do also have two of these brush pens that I like using. Um, I definitely prefer um, the Pentel touch sign pens. I have another one in one of these pencil cases, uh, but I like keeping these because these are black. I have the hard tip and the soft tip that I just differentiated with uh, some washi. I really like these when I need um, like a really, really dark uh, lettering pen. Um, 
So that's why I keep them in here, just in case I want to use them in my Hobonichis. These are just a few of my favorite colors that I like using. I think this is such a pretty color palette altogether. These guys, these five. Um, I think including the gray, let's see if I can go, hold on. Let me go find some of my other mild liners. Okay, so this is my collection of highlighters, mild liners, and some other random pens. Um, out of all of these colors, these five are my favorite. Um, or at least, like, they're my favorite altogether. You can make some, like, really pretty um, color combinations with some of these pens. Like, if you just do, like, all of the cool colors, I think that would look really nice altogether as well. Like, these guys look really nice. Um, but at the moment, these guys are my current favorites, and um, I wish I used them, like, a lot more. I think this color is my ultimate favorite, though. I'm not sure the name of it. It doesn't really say, but whatever this color is, I really like it. I'm just gonna put these back in here so I can use them when I'm journaling. So that is one pouch done. Let's move on to this guy. Now I really like using this guy because you can fit some really big like sticky notes in it and you can fit a lot of things in here. So um, this guy I keep on my desk and instead of having um, all of my things like scattered about, I have all of these guys tucked in here. Um, I have a lot of like whiteout thingies, these cartridge kind of things. Um, I have two whiteouts here. Both of these suck actually, so I don't recommend using these. Actually, this Grand and Toy one's not bad, um, but I think it's really, really old. Um, this is my favorite uh, glue runner, which is from Ad Tech. Um, I think I got these from HomeSense or something like that in a pack, a value pack. So that's why I really like them because they're um, affordable for the money. Also in here I have some of my favorite Muji sticky notes. I think these are so useful and um, you get a lot of them but they're kind of scattered around all the time so I just put them in this little um, plastic bag so they won't run around. I also have a few other sticky notes here. I have some from SM Plans, um, Planner Monkey Co. and Van Sticky. I like using these a lot and then I just kept this really big um, post-it note as well just in case I want to write a lot of notes. Uh, the last few things that I have in here are just some extra bits. Again, a washi sample. Um, I have a few pieces of vellum that I clipped some of my favorite clips here that, but I'm not using. So these are just some scraps, probably offcuts that I can use in my journals. Uh, but so that they stay in place and they don't move around, um, I just clip these guys on top of them. Uh, one of these I use as a pen loop so um, I don't lose it, so that's why it's in here. This next clip I just hauled recently. It's from Confetti Baby in collaboration with Grumpy Bear. Really love that. Uh, and this is one of my favorite um, clips now. Um, these are from Kiki K. They're embroidered ones. Um, I have a few of them in some of my other planners, but I wasn't using this one, so I just kept it here. It has a rose gold paper clip. And then this is my eraser. I don't know where my pencil went. It's probably in this other pencil case, but uh, this is my favorite eraser at the moment. It is a Tombow mono eraser. For some reason, I really enjoy using um, Tombow erasers. I have um, another one that I keep um, in my sketchbook. Um, but I really like these Japanese erasers. I remember one time when I went to China, I found this really, really awesome eraser. Um, it was kind of like a plastic eraser and it was the best thing ever but I have no idea what happened to it, so <laughs> um, this isn't the best eraser that I've tried, but it is the best that I've found in a very, very long, long time. So somewhere in here I'll have a pencil, but that is all that I have in this pencil case. So um, the very last pencil case here I have is, well, it was supposed to be um, kind of like kept in my handbag and kind of a on-the-go pencil case. This would also be really, really great for school. However, because of the current pandemic we are in, um, I don't need to keep this in my handbag anymore, so I'm just using it on my desk. So in here, oh, here is my pencil. Um, so in here I have a ton of different pens. Some of them you might have already seen before, but you can fit so much stuff in here, it's great. Um, so this is the Jetstream pen, again, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite pens. This one um, I got in Happy Mail, actually, and it comes with a pencil, which is really nice, so maybe I'll put that eraser that I showed you in with this, um, because I like keeping it in there. Um, also in here, I have another one of those Kiki K pens, the gel cap ones. Um, I go through these refills pretty quickly, I think, um, but I really, really like them. 
Uh, and here is my favorite Pentel brush pen. I have a few of them over here. I have the other colors. I have a uh, pink, yellow, green, and blue as well. I have some friction highlighters here that I love. This is my favorite brush pen because of the gray color. Um, I should pick up a black one as well, but I do have those um, Tombow ones, which I also really like. If you watched some of my previous videos, like in my A6 Hobonichi journal, uh, you would see me use this a lot because it is my all-time fave and it hasn't run out yet, so um, I really, really like that. Um, I have two pens here, actually. Um, I did some sort of like interchanging with these guys recently. So this refill that I have in here was actually the refill for the Uni Signo RT pen, which I have here. But as you can see, it is almost completely out. So um, I decided that I wanted to pick up a few refills. I also finished this Muji pen. The barrel is from Muji, but I already finished the refill, so I already threw that out. Uh, but the new refills that I have purchased are the Pentel Energel refills. So this is what it looks like. Um, this Pentel Energel refill will fit into the um, Unisignal pens, which I think is really nice. Um, initially I was going to repurchase the Unisignal refills, but I think it would have taken a long time to get to me. Um, I bought these on Amazon, so um, because of the pandemic, they are like cutting off a few of their things or um, shipping times are longer. So the Pentel Energel refills got to me quicker. So that's why I have them here. I've been testing them in my Hobonichi, by the way, and I really, really like them. So I have a Uni Signo RT pen body with a um, Pentel Energel refill inside. The refill will actually also fit into the Muji refills over here. So once I finish the very, very, very... Um, small amount of ink in here. I'm going to also switch this into um, an Energel pen as well. So those are my two pens that I'm currently using in here. Um, I don't use my Kiki K pens in my Hobonichi on the Tomoe ribbon paper. Um, I can use the ballpoints but not the gels because I feel like they smudge. But the Energel and the Signo RT seem to work well so that's why I have them in here. Uh, and lastly I have here my fountain pen which is from uh, Platinum. This is the Platinum Plazier in the Ice White color, which is a silver. I just recently um, put in a new refill here. The um, cartridge that originally came with this lasted me about four months, so I think that's pretty good. So in each of these packs, you get two refills, so I put one in here, so I have the other one here. Um, I did save the refill uh, just in case I wanted to reuse it and refill it with some sort of um, other bottled ink. I do also keep a roll of washi tape in here. This is my favorite roll of washi and I'm almost done it. I need to go purchase um, a few more rolls of this because I love it so much. Uh, oop. So those are all of the things that I have in all of my pencil cases. I actually um, did have... where did my sarasas go? So these pens I actually had on my desk. Um, I also really enjoyed these. These are the Sarasa, um, the Zebra Sarasa pens. Uh, these two are clips and this other black one I think is just the regular Sarasas. I do also like these. I believe that the um, refill inside this will also fit the Pentel Energels um, as well, so that's kind of cool. So thank you guys so much for watching what I currently have in all three of my pencil cases. It's a little bit much, but I love stationery, so. But if you guys want to see more videos like this, please do let me know in the comments down below. Um, I'm going to be filming a lot more often now because I'm kind of getting used to this whole staying at home pandemic thing. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye!